Hello folks, I'm Johnny McCobb, your friendly neighborhood psychopath, the creep of the class, and I'm here to play uh, any horror game, Night Cry. Uh, now, I've uh, been wanting to do a horror Let's Play channel for a while now. I uh, had a couple false starts, just never was able to keep it going, always got busy. Uh, this time I'm going to do things a little bit differently, I'm going to set myself a schedule, hopefully keep up with it, um, guarding my appearance. This is not how I'm going to look at every video. I had a, uh, I was at a convention today. Uh, the convention was run by the guy who owns my, uh, my local comic book shop, um, Queen City Bookstore. And that same owner also has a TV show, a comic book TV show called Geek City TV on, uh, Buffalo, uh, New York Cable, um, where I do a horror, uh, where I talk about horror comics. Um, and... I put on this makeup for that segment, so I'm actually in costume right now, I just never got out of it. Um, so yeah, I normally don't wear makeup and crap, I usually, it's a pain in the butt to deal with. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's why I'm dressed up like this. Um, anyway, on to Nightcry. Uh, this is, uh, it's a spiritual successor to, um, to, the, to, to the Clock Tower series. Uh, very, very classic uh, horror video game series. It's actually made by the same guy who made the first two games. Uh, the original, which was originally never uh, brought over to the United States, it was made for Super Nintendo. And then the uh, sequel, which was just called Clock Tower uh, in the United States, which was for PlayStation 1. And they're great games. They're probably some of the most... Um, some of the most accurate depictions of the slasher genre in video games. Um, it's one of the earliest you know, examples of a type of gameplay where you can't fight back, you can only run and hide. You know, games like Amnesia, games like Outlast, I mean, this these games started that whole thing. You know, talking like two, two uh, oh, probably a little bit over two decades beforehand. Um, so it's uh, they're really really groundbreaking games, and they're just um, the first two were, were by far the best in the series. Uh, there was a third one uh, also for PlayStation One, which was not as well received. And um, those first three were made by a company called Human Entertainment, which went under, and Capcom bought up the uh, bought up the rights. Um, but they they haven't done much with them. Uh, not since PlayStation 2. They put out Clock Tower 3, which would actually be Clock Tower 4, technically, um, which did not receive as great of reviews as it could have. And um, they had another spiritual successor called uh, Haunting Haunting Grounds, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, it hasn't been anything since PlayStation 2 era. So, uh, this spiritual successor, I mean, it was very much hyped. They crowdfunded it. Uh, like I said, the creator of the first two games created this. Um, the main, the main monster is called the Scissor Walker, and it was, uh, designed by, uh, the guy who designed all the monsters for the Silent Hill games. So, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of hype. And, you know, I got into it just a little bit before, but I never got too far into it, so I wanted to give it another look. Um... So, you know, without further ado, this is Nightcry. <clears throat> August 18th, 2016, at 7.26 p.m. It's always 7.26 p.m. somewhere. They're supposed to be coming out with, like, a port of this game for the Vita... And for mobile devices like the Android and the iPhone. In fact, that was like the original design it was supposed to be mobile only. But then they came out with it for PC. I mean, and you can tell. I mean, the graphics aren't as high end as they could be. It seems because, you, you know, it was designed for mobile. Drinks. <clears throat> get you some water, ma'am? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just need some air. I see. Snip, snip. Let me know if there's anything you need. <laughs> yeah, I will. Okay, so yeah. See that's one thing that's weird is Yeah. The original Clock Tower games were uh they were point and click. 
So yeah, that's my entire means of interaction here. So that's not something you see a lot with like modern games. It sure is hot in here. Could you take my jacket? This guy looks so surly. He's like just Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Here's your number tag. You'll need it to pick up your jacket. She won't be picking up her jacket. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Ominous foreshadowing. By the way, have you seen Harry? Who? Oh, sorry. Harry is a friend of mine. He's tall, short hair. I didn't see him anywhere at the party. Uh, someone came and left down the hall a moment ago. Maybe it was him. Okay, thanks. It's through that door, right? Yeah, yes, your lips aren't even a very moment. Yeah, you know, uh, not as uh, high-end as far as the graphics as it could be. And her walk, I remember now, is just so obnoxious. <clears throat> I mean, that's decent hair animation, though. You're just gonna stand there. Don't scratch it, it'll never heal. Ooh, gooey. Let's uh, 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 get some, uh, put some Neosporin on that, or... No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what else we got to see here. It's a fire extinguisher. Can I, can I use that? Cruisers equipped with fire extinguishers. Oh, hey! Okay. Probably a smart idea. Why don't I even put my hand on the keyboard? I can't push any keys. All I can do is use the mouse. Okay, well, what do we got here? Let me guess. It's locked. Yeah, a little red light would kind of indicate that. Oh, uh, well, no, this way. Point and click interfaces with uh, 3D environment and changing camera angles might not be the best choice. Should be interesting when I get into a chase. Why take a copy of the brochure when I, you didn't even let me finish reading it? Brochures for this cruiser are on display. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, so I double click to make her run. Look at her run. Jesus Christ. Take off the heels. That, oh my, she like freaking waddles. <laughs> I think she might have a disability. I'm gonna be honest with you, that is not, that is not normal. That is not normal walking. It's vaguely concerning. Over there. Hot towels and matches on a well polished counter. Can I take the matches? No? Well, screw you. Get me a drink! Maybe I'll walk better if I'm drunk! Welcome, would you like something to drink? Haha, uh -huh, maybe you're right. Let me know if you'd like some mineral water. What? I didn't... What? I didn't even reply. Oh, he's got an eyeball in, uh... In, uh, his little glass there. Hello, young lady. Are you back from the cocktail party? Yeah, something like that. Are you on vacation with your wife? No, I'm traveling alone. Let me introduce myself. I am Vigo Boradsov, the owner of this ship. Wow, you own this ship? Yes, it always brings me joy to see passengers such as yourself having a great time on your ship. On my ship. Oh, I guess I'm enjoying myself, I suppose. Haha, <laughs> don't be afraid to speak out if there's anything we can do to increase your comfort. Like, murder you horribly. 
do you call this again? I used this in school ages ago. It's called a Bunsen burner. What do we got here? Menu on the table is various drinks and snacks. Maybe I'll order something later. Okay, let's uh let's leave. Click 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 click. Over here! No! No! Wrong! Oh this is gonna this is gonna be horrible when I'm being chased. I'm gonna die. No! Wrong! Leave the room! Okay, this way. This way now, come on. So kinda of limp your way over here. Hi folks! Pair are conversing rapidly in whispers. It's hard to make out what they're saying. It could be a foreign language. Run! Run as fast as your deformed little legs can take you. Konnichiwa! No, no, talk to them. Talk to them! No, that's not what I wanted. Something I was supposed to do on this floor? Maybe. There we go. Here you are. No wonder I didn't see you two at the party. Jessica got, got tired of the party, so I came along with her. I don't get why the best dressed guy here. Um, okay. Oh, you mean the conductor, Jerome? Yeah, I think that was his last. That was his name. I'm not into slim guys, so okay. What do you got against slim guys? It's kind of, it's kind of judgmental of you. It's not as good as it could be. Pardon me. Hmm. Okay, so uh, is this the other side of the bar? Yeah, so I could have just come through here. Okay, so apparently there's something else I need to talk to Vigo about. He needs a lighter. I'd like to boil my prosthetic eye to sterilize it. But you have both eyes. Why? Huh. Wait, there might be something at the bar counter. Yeah, there was matches over there. Let me see what we can do. No, no, no. Mmm, this. Okay, come on. Come on. Here we go, here we go, come on. Yes! Excelsior! Okay, here you go, you can pull your eyeball now. If only there was something to light a match with. You can select items you find from the inventory on the upper right corner. First of all, become an icon and select an item, so click on an item and use. Okay, so, yep. Okay. Uh, yes. I'm going to set fire to this man. Woo! Fire! Oh, okay. I have to use it on the eye. I, 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 have, to, I have to sterilize the eyeball myself. I can't give him the match and let him do it. God, so needy. I don't want to touch a gross eye. You saved me! You look like you have both eyes in your head. I do not understand. Thanks, young lady. You were a great help. Yeah, look. He's, I mean, he's got two different colored ones, so that's kind of weird. But there's no empty socket there. Huh. <clears throat> Maybe he... I don't know. I don't know why he would have... I mean, it matches the color of one of his eyes. So is that other one just a different colored prosthetic? Like he like changes the color of his eyeball? And it definitely adds a new layer to, uh, you know, ability to uh, change your fashion. 
Oh, gee, what color, what color eyeball do I want to put in today? Okay, let's talk to these ladies. Harry was looking for you, by the way. Okay, there we go. Should totally date Harry, Monica. Are you serious? I don't get date guys with no future. Oh, that's pretty harsh. But he wanted to talk with you about something. You should go look for him on the lower floor. I'll consider it. And by that, I mean I'm going to do it. Right now. Just let me waddle my way over to the elevator controls. And get into the elevator with the creepy old lady. <laughs> Smells musty in here. Oh, that's, that's good. That's lovely. That's, that's fantastic. What a pleasure it has been to share this elevator with you. What? Okay, I was like, is she gone now? Just... No sudden movements. Creepy old women are known to attack at the drop of a dime. I have never been on a ship. I would like to do that at some point in my life. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh! <laughs> A little girl? Come back, little girl. I can only waddle so fast. Oh, are, are you Harry? Harry! Hey there, I see you left the party too, huh? Nope, I'm still there. Did you see a little girl come by this way? It was just me until you came, babe. Oh. Anyway, how's the party? You said you found a guy you like. I thought I did. He was alright, but not my type. In the end, I had to let him go. Seemed to me like he was more into Rooney anyway. Well, each to their own, right? Personally, she bores the hell out of me. Come on, I was cheering you on from the sidelines. I didn't expect plain Jane. Go to hell. You could have chosen a better night to stand out for once. Just gotta keep, keep clicking on people till they're done, you know, until you're sure they don't got nothing more to say. Load. Load, 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 load. Load. Don't get yourself worked up now. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> what? You think a soda will get you on my good side? Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. What the? What is it now? Well, uh, something's grabbing my hand. What? Oh. I said something inside here. Grabbing my head. It's maximum overdrive all over again. The Gregory Peck Act is a bit outdated, don't you think? I'm serious. But you've never seen a soda machine do that. Damn you, Coca Cola! Well, that's not good. I should probably get ready to run. Okay, uh, stamina. While running, click while running to dash. Put your camera on the scissor walker. Hold your breath while hiding. Okay, click point. Okay. Run. Run! That one's gonna be locked. 
Fuck, run! Waddle as fast as your non semi functioning legs can can go. Okay, green light. Green light means open. Okay, okay. So I gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. Totally see that thing appearing in a Silent Hill game. Okay, so I gotta keep this on here, I guess. Okay. Oh shit! Oh no! Please go away. Please go away. Please go away. Thank you. Don't come again. And now I'm out of the closet somehow. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's take a look around the room, see what we can find here. Uh, some booze. Might as well tie some on, right? Suitcase is locked. It will not budge. How hard is it to open a suitcase? Let me see what we got here. There's a phone charger on the table. Check this drawer. No. You make me sad. Where's the drawer? Where's the where's the drawer? What the okay, it's right over here. Stop touch the drawer! I'm going to stop trying so hard to make sure you survive. The only things in the drawer are amenities provided for guests. What about the pen? Can I stab it with a pen? The name John Thompson is inscribed beneath the photo of a happy couple. Okay. A broken mirror. Can I go in the bathroom? No? Alrighty. Someone had a bad time in that room. Uh, let's see. God, I mean, look at her. Her knees are like bending inwards. She's like cross. Her, she, what is wrong with this lady? Too. Check the trash can, see if we can find something fun in there. No? Okay. Let's check the washing machine. Someone seems to have left their clothes inside. Cool. Let's check this one. Okay. Colorful fabric is me. Okay, why would anyone throw their shorts away here? That's weird. Depends on what happened to those shorts. Maybe it's Taco Tuesday on the uh, on the electric clu cruiser. <laughs> Dare I? No time for doing the laundry now. Can I hide in the laundry machine? So that's the room I no, is that the room I came from? I'm gonna get, I think it is, right? Yeah, came from that way. Okay, what's in the bucket? Hey, I use the same bucket at home. But that's that's not important. You had this What? What why would you even put that into the game? Who the frick cares? <laughs> oh, so much blood. Who 
food, glorious food. There's no one behind the counter. Cool. Let's read the register. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. Cash register has been left open. Ching. Damn. I'll take that. Wow, she actually did it. You found an item, four quarters. You literally robbed the store of a dollar, you cheap person. You cheap, horrible person. That dollar's gonna come out of the poor cashier's paycheck. Oh, this, this lady deserves to die. She, she can't walk. She steals money. Oh, no. Oh. Let's see what's in there. Mmm, my favorite. Oh, not my favorite. Run away. Come on. Limp away. No, this way. This way. Come on. Come on, go. You can do it. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. The scissor walker. Legally distinct from Scissor Man. Seriously, I wish they would make, like, a real Clock Tower game. I mean, this is good for what it is, but it's it doesn't really measure up. And, my god, I don't know how much longer I can watch this lady. I'm not even going to call it running or walking, because it's not. I don't know what that is. Hobbling? behind me but the music definitely still says it's on my tail oh 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 I need to need to catch my breath here oh shoot it is definitely still behind me oh dear look Another door. I can go in there. Come on, you're almost there. Go! Go! Is that the same one? I think that might be the same door. Get in the closet again! <laughs> no, this is a different room doesn't have the suitcase on the floor. <gasps> don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I promise I'll learn to walk good! I promise! Oh no! Oh, this is not good. Did I at least regain my stamina? Run! Run, bitch! Run! Oh shit! <laughs> Look! Another door I can go in! Oh no! Go! 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 Oh god! What? You're worried about what? Oh, I can't go in this room because it's dark! Priorities, woman! <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm almost out of stamina again. This is not good. Oh, 
<laughs> Why couldn't I go into the dark room? I'm gonna fall and I'm gonna die because my salmon is almost done, and and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get carved up. And yep, here we go, here we go. Move, move. What's this way? Elevator. Can't go up. Can't go up. Please let me go up. Oh no! Go! Run! <laughs> click, 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 click. You deserve that. I'm sorry. You deserve that. Oh, it's too dark to go into this room. I'd much rather face the hideous scissor monster that wants to disembowel me with a giant pair of gardening shears. That's much more preferable. Whee! Does it even save? Or do I have to literally start a new game? Where is it going to start me back at? Okay, um, I think we're just going to call that good for the first episode, because, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great that someone was trying something with the, with the, with the clock tower idea. Why are you still walking? Why are you still walking? Why? Walking. <laughs> It's great that someone tried something with the clock tower idea, but honestly, the, a point-and-click game is just not really, not really, um, not really working with, you know, a, a 3D environment like this. I, I, I get it's, you know, it's, it's I guess, it's supposed to be nostalgic. Or whatever, but it just it doesn't work, and I don't know. This is it just doesn't work. Uh, it's it's a, it's a it's an applaudable attempt, uh, but I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let this game rest as is. So yeah, that's the that's the the first uh, let's play here, um, Night Cry. If you haven't played the first two uh, Clock Tower games yet, definitely give them a shot. Um, like I said, the first one was never released in the United States, uh, but I mean, you, there is a fan translation for it that you can you can patch the game with. Um, it's for Super Nintendo. Second one's for PlayStation One. Great, great, fantastic games. Definitely check them out if you get the chance. This. Not so much. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, wrap up each episode uh, with a little shout-out for something else in uh, the Hindi indie ho horror uh, genre. Um, this episode, I want to give a shout-out to uh, this awesome movie. I, I love this film. Um, it's a little mockumentary. It's called uh, Winner's Tape All, The Henderson Brothers Story. What is it? It's a, it's a mockumentary. It's a fake documentary about uh, two brothers from the 80s who made, like, these just god-awful um, low-budget horror films. It's just complete satire of the indie horror uh, backyard filmmaking. Um, and it, it's... I mean, don't get me wrong. There's amazing, amazing indie horror films out there. Like, tons of them. Like, better than anything that, horror, that Hollywood does nowadays. Uh, but there's also, you know, there's also crap. I mean, there's, um, you know, you could, it, p passionate people, but uh, behind not very good films. I mean, it's it's not their fault. Um, you know, it's just a lack of resources and a lack of experience. Um, but and it it's illustrated very well in this film for a very very humorous effect. Uh, definitely check this film out if you get the chance. Actually, I have it up for rent on my uh, pay-per-view website, iBleedIndie.com, along with over 200 other uh, indie horror features, short films, series, uh, music videos, paranormal documentaries, 
catalog's getting pretty big. Um, so definitely check that out. And if you're looking for any indie horror news, check out my website, uh, thebloodshed.com. Um, so once again, this is the first episode of Johnny Macabre. Uh, I am Johnny Macabre, uh, your friendly neighborhood psychopath, the creep of the class. Stay tuned for next episode. See ya.